Hello, wonderful human beings. Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Rami and I share lots of vegan recipes and tips to help you live well. And today I'm gonna show you my most frequently eaten three meals, the three meals that I eat every single week almost without fail. These are all vegan and gluten-free recipes that are pretty nutritionally dense. Is that a word? Nutritionally dense? That are pretty nutrient dense and also happen to be high in protein. These are meals that I make when I just really don't know what to cook. So I almost always have the ingredients for these things in the kitchen. That way, if I'm ever having a night where I'm like, what do I eat? What do I make? I just want something healthy and delicious. This is what I make. So the first thing we're gonna be making is a delicious veggie pasta. This one is by far the easiest and something that I make very often. The next recipe is going to be tofu lettuce cups. Also very easy actually. Most of them are, actually all of them are very easy. And the third one is gonna be tacos. I either make them and have them with tortillas or I'll make like a taco bowl and just eat it with rice. It all just kind of depends on what I have on hand. For the most part, all these recipes can be modified, so you can kind of sub in what you have for what you don't. I tend to go for the veggies that happen to be in my fridge and just use it as a great way to clean out the fridge as well. And I'm not gonna include recipes for these because it's all very much to taste, and they're honestly so simple that you really don't need a recipe, but I hope you enjoy, and let's get cooking. This recipe is super simple. You just start with any veggies that you have. I usually like to use broccoli or something pretty firm. I think I had both broccoli on hand and also some green beans. It's a great way to get rid of leftover veggies in the fridge. And I just saute it with a little bit of oil and some garlic for flavor. I also threw in zucchini at the end because it doesn't need much cooking. And then if I'm feeling really lazy, I'll just throw in a jarred sauce. This is usually one of my go-to meals when I'm in a rush, so I almost always use a jar sauce. I get that nice and warm, and then I'll toss in my cooked pasta with a little bit of the pasta cooking water as well, just to help it kind of incorporate nicely. I like to use lentil pasta or high protein pastas just to give the dish a little extra nutrition, and it's gluten-free as well. For the tofu lettuce cups, we're gonna start with tofu, of course. I like to use high protein tofu because it has the firmest texture. Then I'm also gonna slice up some cabbage. You can use purple or green and some carrots. Again, you can use whatever you have in your fridge. Then I'm slicing the stems of my scallions and the tops separately and some chili just to make things a little spicy and lime for our sauce. So for the sauce, we're starting with fresh lime juice, a little bit of vegan fish sauce, then some tamari or gluten-free soy sauce, a little bit of rice wine vinegar, grated garlic, and then we're gonna add in our scallion butts and a touch of sweetener. That's it for the sauce. Now we're gonna move on to the tofu. Now for the tofu, I'm just gonna give it a quick fry. So I'm just cooking it in some neutral oil, salt and pepper, and a little bit of toasted sesame oil for flavor. You just wanna get it nice and brown. The majority of the flavor is gonna come from the sauce, so you don't have to worry about seasoning the tofu too much. Then I'm gonna add some oil back into the same pan and fry up some garlic with veggies. I almost always go for broccoli, but I also love snow peas, sugar snap peas, asparagus, cauliflower, whatever you have will work. I also like to serve this with some fried rice, so I'm just frying up some shallots, garlic, and scallion greens just until it's nice and aromatic. Then I'm adding in purple cabbage, again you can use green, a little bit of salt and pepper to season and sauteing until it's nice and vibrant. I'm also going to throw in some shredded carrots. And last but not least, I'm breaking up some leftover rice. Fried rice is best made with day old or two day old rice. So I highly recommend using your leftover rice for this. I'm seasoning with some gluten-free soy sauce and then just adjusting by taste. I also like to finish with just a little bit of toasted sesame oil for flavor and that's pretty much it. So here is the full spread. I like to keep it really simple. You can serve it, kind of build your own style. And I'll usually make lettuce cups with butter lettuce. You can also use cabbage leaves for this. Add my tofu, my roasted veggies, sometimes a little bit of rice and lots of sauce. Before we get into the tacos, I'm gonna start with a cabbage slaw. So I'm taking some purple cabbage here and then adding the juice of about one whole lime, grating in some garlic and then seasoning with salt. And that's really all there is to it. Sometimes I'll also add chilies for extra spice, but that's totally up to you. If you like spice, add it. If you don't, leave it out. The best way to do this is just get in there with your hands to make sure all of your cabbage is nice and coated. And now we're gonna move on to the taco filling. So I kind of vary up the ingredients that I use. Sometimes it's mushrooms, sometimes it's potatoes. 
Other times I'll throw in some tofu, but I almost always like to use this chorizo. It's made with pea protein, so it's naturally gluten-free and it has really good flavor, so it makes for a very convenient meal that's also high in protein. I'm just frying up my mushrooms and then I'm adding in the chorizo. And then I heated up some corn tortillas and that's basically it. Sometimes I'll make the corn tortillas from scratch, but most often it's convenient to get it from the store and just warm them up in the microwave. And then to serve, I'll just pile on some of the taco meat with some slaw, sometimes a little bit of avocado and enjoy. All right, beans, that is it for today's video. Let me know if you enjoy this one and if you wanna see more of my go-to meals. I've loved filming them because these are easy, casual, quick, no recipe type of recipes, and I hope that you'll try them out too. Leave a comment below and let me know what your go-to meal is because I would love some of your ideas thrown into my rotation, and I will see you in another video soon. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until the next one, bye.